Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today, we have 2 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 8 to the x equal to 155. And of course we are going to solve it right now, but before this I want to ask you to, to put likes on the video, to write any comment, I really appreciate it, and it helps me a lot to make a new video, and of course turn notification, I really appreciate it. And let's go to solve it. Okay, we have 2 to the x, I write this 2 to the x as well right here, so 2 to the x. But this 4 to the x is really good because we can write this 4 as 2 square. Let's start with this 2 square to the x. And this 8 is a really good number because you can write it as 2 cube to the x equal to 155. So I hope you understand this step. We just change this 4 and 8 by 2 square and 2 cube. And right now I want to show you a rule of interchange, a really good rule if you are talking about, about powers. So we can write this e to the power x raised to the power y, we can change these powers, this exponent, and we can write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. So we can do this, because we have a product x, y, and that doesn't matter in what way, y, x, or x, y, this, this rule works, and this rule is really good for us. So let's use this rule right here, change this one, and change this one. We have 2 to the x plus 2 to the x square, and plus 2 to the x cube equal to 155. And right now we don't have any 8, any 4s, any different powers, different exponent. We have all same three elements, 2 to the x, 2 to the x, and 2 to the x. So it's really good to write a substitution. So let this 2 to the x will be equal to t, for example. What, we have, what equation we will have? We have firstly t plus t square plus t cube equal to 155. And mostly we need to rearrange this, this element because we, we like this, this order t cube plus t square plus t and minus 155 equal to, equal to 0. And right now I want to mention one really interesting moment because it's hard like to, to find a factor using a division if we divide. It, it's really good to find a factor using your inspection at first. If we use in, in our inspection we can find that t equal to 5 will be our factor because 125 plus 25 plus 5 minus 125 equal to 0 so it's good so t equal to 5 is our factor but we need to find another solution maybe we'll have more roots right here so let's start to to let's try to factor this t minus 5 how can i do this take a look closely what i will do right now we have t cube at first in the beginning and right now we have t square but how can we express this t square, we need to factor t minus 5, and we need to express this t square. We can easily write it right here, minus 5t square and plus 6t square. This is equal to t square. So nothing changed for us. This is equal to t square. Okay, let's go next. We have t, but we need to factor t minus 5, and as well we have 6t square. We can easily write the next step. This is square, but this is instead of t, we write minus 30t and plus 31t and the last minus 155 without any changes so right here we have t okay nothing changed for us but if you look closely we can factor from here take a look t cube minus 5t square we can easily factor in t square in parentheses t minus 5 the next plus if we factor from here 6t we have t minus 5 plus 6t we have t minus 5. And the last plus right here, 31 t minus 155, 31 we factor in t minus 5 equal to 0. And finally, take a look, t minus 5, t minus 5, and t minus 5. Let's factor it. t minus 5 times t square plus 60 and plus 31 equal to 0. So we finally find our answer. Find our, of course we factor this problem. We have t minus 5, we have another parentheses, so we have two parentheses. So first case t minus 5 equal to 0 and t equal to 5. This is our first root if we are talking about t of course because we had a substitution. And the second parentheses we have right here t square plus 60 and plus 31 equal to 0. And if you look closely to our discriminant we have d square equal to b square minus 4ac 
this will be equal to 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 31 we will have 36 minus 124 and if you look closely this is negative value so in this parentheses we have no real solution no real solutions no real solutions but but two complex two complex roots in this case two complex roots let's go right here we have t equal to 5 this is real number so we'll have real number root but t equal to 2 to the x so we need to write 2 to the x equal to 5. how can i tell this equation of course using logarithm if we take log from both of the side we have log 2 to the x equal to log 5. now in log property this x jump right here so we have x equal to log 5 over over log 2 i just divide it log this is our one and only root if we are talking about real numbers. This is my explanation, this is my approach, write your approach, of course, any comment. Thank you so much for watching, for your subscribing, for your comment, I really appreciate it, and it helps me a lot, it inspires me a lot to make new content every day. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.